Next up, we'd like to look at solution templates. So these are available from solutions.arcgis.com. This is a website you're going to want to become familiar with, because you're going to find a lot of resources here that are going to help you get your work done. So I want to give you a quick tour of this site so that you're familiar with how to use it. So the idea here is a new pattern that we call download, configure, and use. So using the solution site, you're able to download applications and templates, quickly configure them, and get them up and running quickly without having to do any custom application development. So this is a pattern we think you're really going to find very useful and help you get a lot of applications up and running quickly and do analysis. So this is all powered by that solution site again. It's at solutions.archis.com. So what we want you to think about doing as you're getting into projects is before you get to developing a new application, I want you to stop, go out to the solution site, take a look around. Most likely you're going to find something there that's going to be really useful to you in your project. If, you're, uh, if, if it works out perfectly, it'll do exactly what you need and you're done. You know, fantastic. Or if it just does part of what you need, you can actually download the source code and extend it from there with custom coding, and then you're halfway done. You could get a lot of that project already done with this download, downloadable uh, template. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to jump out to the website. Again, this is solutions.arches.com. And what we'll see here are a lot of different communities. We've got local government, state government, military, emergency management, intelligence, and utilities, just to help break up the information here. We'll jump into the local government community. Here we're going to see that it's broken down further into all kinds of departments that you would find in a local government agency. There's a lot of stuff here. And I want to point you back up here at the top to these focused maps and apps right here in the middle. So there's a link here to a collection of maps and apps. This is going to bring us to a search tool. This is really useful because there's a lot of information here to dig through. We can see that right now there's 152 items available in the local government community. So I want to filter that down a bit. Now my goal here is to create a public-facing application that people can use to identify a, a, an address and see what public, uh, public safety facilities are around that address and if they're in any kind of a notification zone. So I'm going to go through and do a little bit of a search here. I know my agency is using 10.2, so I'm going to use this filter on the left to just show applications and templates for 10.2. So that gets me down to 60 items. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper I'm going to put a keyword search in here of fire. That brings me down to 12. That's a little more manageable. So I can take a look at the thumbnails and the titles to get some idea of what's here. And this My Hazard information looks interesting. So we'll click on that thumbnail to get the details page about this application. All right, so we've got a really nice description here of what this application does. There's a Try It Live option. It's 10.2. Uh, uh, how to download. So there's actually a link here to GitHub down here at the bottom to get the source code. So you can download the source code and extend that, as I mentioned. Or you can just download this application as is, configure it, and use it. So support, it is a fully supported application. So you can call Esri Tech Support if you get stuck and need some help. So this sounds perfect. Let's take a look at that Try It Now, Try It Live option. We'll click on the thumbnail to fire off the application. It's going to bring up a little splash screen to tell us about the app. Uh, the magnifying glass is a search tool, so you can type in an address. We'll go ahead and use the example one here. Select the correct address. It'll find that point on the map and zoom the map to it. This is great. So it's going to drill down through the layers that we configure and bring back some information for us. So we can see that we are in an immediate evacuation zone. That's good to know. There's also uh, information here about us being close to a hazardous facility, where the hospitals are, police stations, fire stations, et cetera. So these um, tools actually have this nice little directions uh, uh, icon. So if you hit this icon, for example, for the hospital, actually I have to click it, it's going to locate that hospital, take your point that you put in the address for, find the quickest directions to that, point, that facility, actually draw it on the map, and then bring back turn-by-turn -turn directions for you so you know how to get there. So this is perfect for what I was looking for. So I can go ahead and download this template, configure it with my data, and get it up and running quickly. We think that download, configure, and use pattern is going to be something you're going to really find useful for helping you get applications and uh, information out to the public and for internal staff. So it's not just about web, web applications, though. There's also data models, editing templates, uh, mobile application templates. There's a lot of things available through that solution site. 
So I wanted to make note that there is a dedicated team here at Esri that manages and builds these solutions for you. And they're always working on new ones. So that example that Harry just showed of the target hazard analysis tool, that was a brand new one available at 10.2. Also of note is that these all have full documentation and they're all supported by Esri technical support. So as you're deploying these, if you have run into any problems, please call technical support to get some help. <laughs>